what is up guys that guy Danny here and welcome back to and now you know a series where I try to raise awareness through video this is the Cuba edition so in today's video I'm gonna be talking about something that I think is very simple but it's very important as well now a lot of people know that Cuba exists but I don't think many really know Cuba like that not many have really gone the extra mile in actually knowing Cuba. So let me help you do. Let me help you do just that. I handpicked 10 general facts about Cuba that I think will give you a good overall foundation in your journey of knowing Cuba. They're not in any particular order, so we're just going to get straight into it. Fact number one. Where is Cuba? Now, if I told you to show me where Cuba was on a map, that'd be fairly easy, right? If I took the map away, would you still be able to do it? Mmm, got you there. Let's describe Cuba's location in words. Cuba is located in the Caribbean Sea, between the Gulf of Mexico and the North Atlantic Ocean. It's 90 miles or 150 kilometers south of Florida. The closest countries are Jamaica to the south, Haiti to the east. Fact number two, the capital of Cuba. The capital of Cuba is La Habana, which is pretty much the center of economic, cultural, and touristic um, things. You know, it houses approximately 2.1 million people out of the 11.1 million approximate uh, total population of Cuba. Many governmental organizations as well as foreign embassies reside in this area or around it. Fact number three, the president of Cuba. As of the recording of this video, the president of Cuba is Miguel Diaz Canel. As of April 2018, he was born in Villa Clara on April 1960 and is an engineer and professor. Fact four, the language. The official language is Spanish, but the people here actually speak it in a very unique way. They call it El Español Cubano. Uh, well, I'll leave that for another video. Fact number five, the flag of Cuba. The flag of Cuba is a horizontal flag with blue and white stripes. On the left is a red triangle with a white star in the middle of it. It's really similar to the Puerto Rican flag, just with inverted colors. And now we're at fact number seven, the currency. In Cuba, there are two currencies in use right now. The Cuban peso, which is mostly used by the locals, and the Cuban convertible peso which is mostly used by the tourists. The latter, however, is actually on the brink of elimination. So we'll see how that goes. Fact number eight. What is Cuba known for? Cuba is known for their great strides and achievements in medicine and education. Education and medical care is free for all citizens in the country. Of the many achievements, they've been able to eliminate the transfer of HIV and syphilis from mother to child back in 2015, as well as create a lung cancer vaccine back in 2011. Cuba also has the highest doctor to patient ratio in the world, so they are in a position to send doctors to other countries to assist. Fact number nine, favorite sport and pastime of Cuba. Cuba's favorite sport is baseball. It's a very common sight to see kids playing baseball on the streets, and they also have tournaments and championships every year amongst the different provinces in the country. Right here in Santiago, there's actually a stadium that they would play, but I haven't had the chance to go, so I'll be putting that on my list. And in terms of pastimes, dominoes. Dominoes is a pastime that really identifies with the Cuban culture. Just by walking the streets, you can see people play on their porches, you know, in the park, and even on the sidewalk. And lastly, we reached fact number 10. There are 
nine UNESCO heritage sites in Cuba. I've actually only been to two of these, so I gotta catch up. These sites include Old Havana and its fortification system, Trinidad and the Valley de los Ingenios, Vinales Valley, Urban Historic Center in Cienfuegos, Desembarco del Grama National Park, San Pedro de la Roca Castle in Santiago de Cuba, Historic Center of Camagüey, Alejandro de Humboldt National Park, and the first coffee plantations in Sierra Maestra. And now you know. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. You're a real MVP. Now, if you enjoyed the video, if you got value from it, don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well because it really helps out. It keeps me motivated to keep creating more content for you. Until next time, ciao.